Hello, cutie. She comes with history. Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. I was really drawn to her. She made me feel like a woman could do anything because she did. She was a Latina, like me. She just brings such authority and such honesty to whatever she's playing. Some people might view Rita Moreto as the embodiment of the American dream. At the age of 16 years old, she was the sole breadwinner for her family. Little Puerto Rican girl whom nobody thought much of at MGM with a contract. This girl is present to me from a benefit. I really was very often treated like a sex object. The studio would ask contract players to go out on pretend dates. Before I know it, he's forcing himself on me. When you're in a contract to a studio, they own you. West Side Story seems to be the big one. What are you going to do for an encore now? <laughs> That's hard to follow. Yeah. I think sometimes there are wounds that simply don't heal well. She made herself into somebody she wasn't for a very long time. It really hurt her soul to have to play those characters in that way. For the very first time in my life, I felt very useful. She really cares about issues. And then she is just full of you-know-what and vinegar. <laughs> Wear your nationality like a flag. Be proud of it. Be proud you're Puerto Rican. Be proud you're Puerto Rican. We always have to prove we're worthwhile. That's a lot of work. At 87, with a hit show and a movie in the works, it's a remake of West Side Story with Latino actors in the lead role. If we thought there was no place for us in this world of the arts that we wanted to get into, we could look up and see Rita and say, okay, well, she could do it. How close can I get? <laughs>